Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com. This tutorial is going to look at the new array command in AutoCAD 2012. And they've changed it quite a bit, made it more powerful, made it a little trickier to use. If you're uh, not used to change, you might not like this. But anyway, they've done away with the dialog box and everything is down on the command line now. So without any further ado, let's have a look at it. So I'm going to type in the command just like the old days, AR select my object press enter and now I can choose what type I like rectangular path or polar and I'm just going to deal with the rectangular array today so I'm going to select that one and now I got to start looking at the command line because things get crazy now so I got to type in C for count and this is where I can tell it how many rows I want or and how many columns so rows they go up this way so I'm just going to say I want four rows, press enter, and now however many columns I want, let's just say five, and now the spacing. So I'll go in S for spacing, and now I select the rows, and I'm just going to go uh, with a space of 10, and I'm going to go 15 between my columns. And now I can press enter and exit. So now what I've got here is a new type of object called an array. And you'll see I've got a lot of grips here. And by clicking on the grips, it's going to tell me all kinds of information. I'm not even clicking, I'm just hovering. It just tells me my space is 10, 15, 5 columns, and 4 rows. Now the great thing about this is that now I can change this. So if I click in this now, you'll see that that's highlighted. I can type in 10 and now I've changed my whole array just with one quick edit. Now if I want more columns, I can just say, okay, I, instead of five, I want seven now. Bang! Seven columns now. So this is pretty powerful. Being an array, I can still pick on the uh, base point and hit the space bar, and I can rotate everything 45 degrees just using my grips. So I'm just going to undo that. But that's a very quick look at what you can do with it. Now, if I want to, uh, I can explode it. So I just type in X for explode, and it's all back to normal. All of these I can just delete and I'll get rid of these delete and delete and zoom in here and have a quick look and you'll see that once again the grips I'm just hovering over the vertex and it gives me my dimensions and I've also got some new grips that'll let me uh, slide sideways and make that that anyway just a quick look at the array command i'm gonna work on the polar and uh get ready to post that one soon too thanks for watching this has been mycadsite.com don't forget to visit it for free tutorials and a completely free autocad course thanks for watching